Salve! I will give you a scratch tutorial and we will make a game where you call like little tuna cans to get score. That's what we're doing today. Um, yeah. So first of all, you gotta go to Scratch. You can just look up Scratch. It'll be the first one H on Google or Safari or any web browser. Okay, and now that you're on it, you want to click create. And this will create a new project. And you'll start with one sprite. So, first, you need to add the code to make this guy move. So first you want to go to events and these has everything from when something from when a button is clicked to when you receive a message that's more complicated but you want when green flag clicked so it looks like this this one right here And then you want to go to control and you're going to want five things from here so forever and then grab an if then these are all in control so forever is the third one down if then is the fourth if then and you want to get these multiple times so you want to grab another and then another until you have four if thens. Don't put them inside each other. Go and come up and make sure it's that grey, not inside. And then once you've got that, you want to go into sensing and you want to get the you want here. Key space press except you don't want that to be space you want this one to be up arrow this one to be down arrow this one to be right arrow and this one to be left arrow you can also duplicate if you go onto a block and right click you can click the duplicate or you can just grab more which is probably the simpler option but it's not going to do anything yet. See if you click the green flag, it begins the game, and then the red flag stops. But nothing's happening. So you want to go all the way up to motion. You can just click on it, and it'll send you up. And then you want to get a t two change X's and two change Y's. You want to put one change Y in the down and one in the up. And then with the change X, you want to put one in the right and one in the left. These changes are the position. See here? If I change this position to 9, it moves a little way. And if I set it back to 0, it goes back to the center. 0, 0 is the exact center of the screen. see so there's the middle and then you can it will move around eventually so right now if you no matter what it will always go one direction so you want to put a very quick thing up in here because see how it's stuck in the corner you don't want that so you want to grab a you want to put it above everything but above the forever loop Go to X, Y, and then you want to set both of these to zero. So now you've got the code, so it'll go straight into the middle. Because when you click the green flag, the go to will send it to those coordinates. 
coordinates being the x which is across and the y being up and down but now if you click this it will send you straight to the middle so now we want to fix this problem where no matter what you press it will always go the same direction so you want to make the down arrow not be positive but you want to retype it to negative 10 and then same thing with the left arrow you want the left arrow to be negative 10 so if the up arrow is pressed you'll go up down then you'll go down if right you can go right and left send you left wait I did those backwards well yeah left send you left and right send you right so the arrow keys are if you go all the way across the keyboard they'll be those ones if you go all the way across the keyboard there'll be the keys that look like arrows but there's nothing really to do so you want to go down to here the choose a sprite then you want to click and you can look for can or maybe well there is obviously no tuner so you can just look around and see if you can find something that looks good maybe like some milk because cats like milk or bowl and then you can fill it with milk I think I'm going to do that so you can click the bowl and then get the fill tool so you want to go from code to costumes then click you'll be here then you want to click this one the fill tool and then you want to set this saturation zero it doesn't matter what the color and brightness is you just want to set that to zero and then you want to go and you can set all of these different places to white but you want to go right in the middle there if you can tell when it turns white and then you click it and now you've got a bowl of milk so now you want to put the code in for this because right now it's not going to do anything so you want to when this is clicked because that's how you always start it when the green flag is clicked this you want to put a forever loop down and then go to random position so it's going pretty fast um you'd want to stop you don't want it to go that fast you should do wait x seconds so you i'm going to do 2.5 seconds when the green flag is clicked it will go to a random position then wait 2.5 seconds before repeating going to a random position and then waiting 2.5 seconds now every 2.5 seconds it will move and it can be completely random where it is so the weight is in the control as you can tell it's orange and then the go to random position is in motion if you're ever stuck check the colors motion blocks are blue event blocks are yellow control blocks are orange and now we need to do a variable so click make a variable and name it score you can put a colon there if you wish and now you have that so right there is your variable for score but it won't do anything if you touch the bowl so we need to fix that and set it to 
if touching and this is named sprite one the cat so you want to go not mouse pointer not edge but sprite one if touching sprite one then go to random position and change, not my variable, click on it, score by one. Remember variables look, the variable color is this. So all variables, you can always just click on it. Variables, sensing, motion, so there's go to random position as mentioned before. Then the if is in control and then the touching is in sensing it's the top one and then variables is just you click variables and then it'll be score then you want to click change so now it won't work because it will be waiting and then checking so you want to take that out and then you want another when the flag is clicked then you want to put another forever and then you want to put this in so now you can collect it as you can see I'm occasionally getting more score but that's because it's teleporting into me so you're now pretty much done except that the score doesn't reset so to change that when this is clicked set so not change set set score to zero and now you have a fully working game I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hmm you can name this whatever you want by going up here and then typing it it like cat milk collector I don't know if I've spelled that correct but um yes I have so now this tutorial is done um yeah hope you enjoyed hope you see more of me yeah bye mm -hmm. bye again